Hello, my beautiful queens. Hello, beautiful queens. Just finishing a bum workout. I had a workout for you guys before, but for some reason my phone deleted it. So now I re-recorded the workout for you guys on my favorite moves for legs and glutes that you guys can follow. Queens, before you work anything in regards to your legs and your glutes, you need to foam roll them before to loosen up your muscles. Do not stretch them unless you are running. Foam rolling helps to elongate the muscles naturally, take out any kinks, and give you more flexibility through your squats, deadlifts, what have you. First move I'm starting off with is hip abduction. This machine is really great for building out the outer glute, the upper glute, and making your hips appear more rounder for that hourglass shape. Now this is one of the most important moves of all moves, getting that hamstring. That hamstring is what's gonna make your butt and your leg separate and give you that illusion of your butt being heavy at the bottom. This is a hip thrust machine. You're gonna thrust your hips upward, squeezing the glutes under. This is a great move for building the glutes without building your legs. And it also focuses on the hamstring. Great move if you are focusing on having your butt extend outward, not wider. And of course, ladies, you can't go wrong with squats. I'm just using two 45 pound plates and I'm just gonna pulse my glutes, focusing on the bottom of my booty and pressing through with my heels, keeping my core tight, back straight. Deadlifts, one of my favorite moves. This move is a total body movement, keeping your whole body aligned, also builds the glutes from the bottom, and allowing it to form all the way at the top to the upper back area. Cable kickbacks, another one of my favorite. Now this really isolates the glute, as you can see, it focuses a little less on the hamstring and more on lifting your butt upward into your back for more of a poke. You don't have to go that heavy. Clamshells, really good for that outer booty and upper booty. And if you have any hip dip where your hips come in, this also gives you that hourglass shape. Try doing a hundred of these. So as you can see, I'm finishing off my workout with resistance bands. I'm doing everything by 100, and I'm just squeezing at the top, focusing on tightening that glute all the way up at the top. Core is tight, back is straight. Try doing 100. Glute bridges, another great move for building the glutes without building your legs. It also tones up the body and separates your hamstrings from your butt. Try doing 100. And 
and finishing off with side leg raises. These are really good with toning up the hips, getting rid of saddlebags, and separating your hips from your obliques. Glad you guys were able to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Try it at home or at the gym.